reminds me of the fact that I ain't in control of nothing. I don't like being in control of nothing, man. You know? You should, nobody should want to. You're gonna be held responsible for your actions. You know? The most high is in control of this thing. If he if he chooses me, he chooses me, he don't, he don't, but I'm gonna do what I gotta do to uh be on that. You know, everybody wants to reap the benefit of being an Israelite. To be in the elect. So I'm gonna do everything I could possibly do. And if the most high say you wouldn't deem fit, ain't nothing I can do about that. You know, my conscience is my conscience is lifted because the most high say he chose me, man. You know? What if what if what if you gotta choose the most high? You know? Niggas are never choosing, man. We'll never come out in darkness, man. You know? It's a beautiful thing that the most high is in control. But you crackers think you a god? teach our peoples that they, to make them think that they're gods and they're Egyptians and your inner being, your inner self is God and all this and that. You know, like that's, that's foolery, man. Because if that's true, we'd be living God-like, man. Okay? You wouldn't need no knee brace. You know? You wouldn't need no Tylenol, man. If you, were, if you had a headache, you can say headache gone and that shit's gone, man. You gotta take, you gotta take calming things to stop it, man. You ain't no guy, you ain't got no power over nothing, man. You try, you try to have a power over life and death, uh, weather, illnesses, children. You don't have no power, man. You know, and that's that's really gonna be the downfall of the two thirds, man. Is the fact that they think they have control of what they're doing, man. That's the only way you can be blind is to think you're you're controlling the wheel that's the most high's turning turning the steering wheel on, man. That's that that's that old school uh when you got a steering wheel on both sides, you let your kid you think he's doing some or, or when you got your little nephew over your house, you playing Xbox, you unplug his controller, and he gonna play Call of Duty, he think he getting down, man. That's what you niggas doing. You think you getting down, man. You ain't doing a damn thing. When, when the most high decides to, to fucking nuke your ass and do whatever you gonna do, you gonna be hitting that, you know what you, you know? You ain't gonna be able to do nothing. You gonna be like, damn, I wouldn't have controlled that thought, man. He created the illusion that you ain't control, man. You know? And that goes back to what? You're not respecting your hour shy, man. You know? This is letting you know what you gotta do. Okay, go ahead. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That's right. The, the fruit should remain. You know, um, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because righteous, righteousness is immortal, man. So the, whatever the most high bestows on somebody to bring out, it remains. I.e., case in point, um, our, our um, predecessor, Ariyah, when he brought out this sign, it remained. Because it's true. The doctrine that they bring, the doctrines that they brought out, the, 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 the true, efficient doctrines remain. Everything else, the, the, free, the fruit constantly increased, man. Abba Bivens didn't know as much as Ariyah. Ariyah don't know as much as um, Elder Tahar, man. You niggas are like, are like, are like the same people. Like you, you watch it. I hate when people watch comedians to say, "Oh, they ain't funnier than Richard Pryor." They're funnier, you know. It's just Richard Pryor started it, man. It's hard to, you know. Certain dudes, are, you know, Kevin Hart's pretty funny. He's not all that funny, but to sell out the Madison Square Garden and be the only person to do it, you know, you're doing something, man. As a comedian, man. You know, uh, uh, Martin, Eddie Murphy, that the nigga's hella funny, man. But because you like so stuck in the old days and you liked it that way, nobody is better, man. Same thing with fighters, NFL players, you know. Nobody ever be better than Tyson. Like, you got a dude named Deontay Wilder that got 34 knockouts in like 35 fights. You just so stuck on Tyson, you wanna get past that, man. And for us to say he's better or he's doing the same thing or it's blasphemous. That's the same thing with with, with Elder um, Ariyad. 
and, and Elder Tahar, man. You so stuck on that old one west. Oh, man, nobody's better than Ariana. And then Elder Tahar comes about as a successor. And then, oh, no, it's bastard. He changed the weights. You know? The same concept, man. You niggas are full of it, man. You just gotta really just say what we read earlier that the most high gotta be within you. Your house shy gotta be within you. Y'all shy ain't within them because y'all shy moving, man. You know, and y'all still stuck in that same spot. You know, shit's moving. You like, you know, you still wearing bell bottoms on some shit, man. You know, everything ain't cool. Of course. You know, everything ain't cool. Like, let Edomites in. The name of the Lord. We don't know what it is. And now it's Christ. Uh, you can shave your beard or trim it. You can do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that new shit, man. That's skinny jeans. We still old school, man. But we advanced, man. You know? It says, uh, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the brother in my name, he, uh, he may give it. Now use common sense. I ain't talking about, if you, ask the, if you ask the most how to kill somebody for no reason, for financial gain, he's not going to do that. Niggas are stupid, man. If you think like that, the most high ain't in you, man. He, he made it clear, like, if you are in me and I in you, we, we cool. You're not gonna ask to randomly kill a nigga, man, if the, if the Lord is within you, because you love your neighbor like you love yourself, man. You know, even the Edomite, man. I wish death on Edomite. They automatically deserve death automatically. I can pray on any Edomite to deserve, to deserve death. But I don't just walk up and, like, just wish all kind of hell on them, man. I don't give a fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? They 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 gonna die, I wish they died. Ultimately. I don't I don't got no time to constantly wish some bad happens, man. You know? The mo the most high say don't be concerned for the wicked, man. You know? We put up our prayers for for y'all y'all reign to end. That's it. Go ahead. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the world hate you, uh, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Hey, it's another concept. I think it's all talking about haters. <laughs> well, what the fuck? You're going to hate something, man. You know, I, I hate, I hate um, unjust balances. I hate, I hate when people brown nose. I hate when people take shortcuts. I'm a hater, man. Acceptably. I mean, you got to hate something. You like everything? I ain't no hater, so you like getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> you, you gotta have some type of feeling toward that. Like working two weeks and not getting a check. You like you like working two weeks and not getting a check. You like somebody beating your ass every morning at six o'clock in the morning. You just get out of bed, nigga, punch you woke and then punch you sleep. You like that. <laughs> you love it. You gotta punch you woke and punch you sleep. Gotta wait, gotta punch you awake, punch you woke yeah. and punch you sleep. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Hell of a punch, man. Yeah, yeah, you know? You like that. No, you don't like that. Common sense that there's things you don't like. There are things that you extremely don't like. There's things that you are okay with. There's things that you love, man. Okay? Things I'm okay with is like, you know, salad. You know? <laughs> I'm okay with salad, eh? It's not, it's not gonna make my day. You know? But there's things that you love. There are things that you... You elated about, man, when something happens. That's the most high. Prophecies coming to pass. Uh, whatever you got personal. I like to go to the gym. I like to watch fights. You know, like you love to see fights or something like that. You go crazy. You know, but there's things that you hate. You know what I'm saying? You act niggas act like you just in the middle and nothing bothers you. You just walk through life. But your circle's small. You know, you obviously hate people if your circle's small. There's no way your circle can be small and you don't hate nobody. You know? Hate that turn your circle small. That, you, you can't be trusted, man. You got a small circle, man. Go ahead, come. It says, uh, If you were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. It's like I got relatives, man. They do their thing. And when I was in the world, I brought them up a certain way, but they don't acknowledge it. They don't acknowledge that. They acknowledge people that they're cool with now. Because the world love is own, man. 
You know, when, when I was into, it, it, it's, it's not something to glorify at all. Believe you me. But when I was in a little hip hop thing, I just sat down and had to show people how I write fucking bars and shit, and, and how to rap, and this how you do that, and, and stop the motherfucker, stop and play, this is what you do. And then, then you hear a nigga shout out to Ignobi. Two, you, know, you knew that nigga like two years ago, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then you say niggas don't fuck with you. No, you ain't trustworthy, man. You ain't loyal, man. A new thing is that somebody that, that met you three months could do better, could mean more for you, uh, could be more loyal than somebody you knew all your life, man. You know, like, I, I sat there and I read that like 18 times, dude. And, and today I was like, like, maybe you not loyal. What, what does that make you if you would trust somebody after three months and you've been <laughs> fucking with somebody after 10 years, man? Like, and you would trust them more than you trust me? How, you know? You maybe fall... just go. Yeah, you fall out with... I ain't gonna say you fall out with brothers, man, but you, you'll get into it with a brother, man. You'll get in a dispute. A brother... Uh, you'll get into it with a brother. You can meet a random motherfucker on the street that'll treat you better than that brother at that in that particular situation, man. But they ain't got shit to do with the the, uh, uh, the longevity of y'all relationship, man. As friends, man. You know what I'm saying? Or brothers. Just like with a woman. That's why you, you bitches and you niggas can't keep a, a, a fucking relationship. Because you got like one little isolated event and you can't deal with that. You know what oh, I I was disrespected. You go to another motherfucker and you got to build all that shit back up. You know? Cause you ain't got no loyalty, man. You ain't willing to, 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 to like sacrifice yourself for nobody, man. There's certain things that are principles. There's certain things that is, you know, like whatever, man. You know, your bitch like, like to get shit and go buy shit, man. You know, it's, it's all vain anyway. No, I, can't, I can't be spending no money on no bitch. I can't have a bitch doing this or doing this. Man, look. Whatever you gotta do to get the pussy, get the pussy. You know? Not anything. I ain't even gonna eat the booty like groceries. Nine days. But you know, whatever do to maintain, because the scripture say, you know, uh, render render her due benevolence. That's a proper affection, man. You know? Proper affection. Yeah, you can't you, you can't deprive your woman for no two weeks. A week. You know? Statistically, you should have sex at least once a week. Your nymphos do four. When you're about four weeks, then you 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 got a high drive, man. You know, you wildin', you out here. You know, but chamber. You know, the average person probably twice a week, man. Three times a week, at the most. You know what I'm saying? Not, not leaving town. You can leave town for a week if you make an agreement. Like the scripture say, you make an agreement with your woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to leave town. Of course, you're going to be gone for a week or a weekend. She's mentally prepared to hold up. You know? <laughs> Same with you women. You like to sit there and deny niggas pussy and wonder why they go and get this or do that. Or oh, I don't want a man unless he do this and do that and do this. I got a long list. That way you ain't got no man. Look, I, 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 want, I want a woman, man. I'm not going to do whatever for one. You know? But I won't push it, so I'm going to do what I got to do to get it. You know, that's stupid to sit there and when women, you know, it's, I don't know, I digress a little bit. But women are like, oh, you know, you don't do this no more. If you want, you want to fuck, come, go, you know, let's get busy, man. I don't you expect me to throw a hint or do something and make it cool. Oh. You know, like, man, you want some, I want some help. Over there, so I'm to smack that ass a little bit back. You know, what's back. up? Back. Hey, what's up, man? You know? I'm ready. Let's get it popped. Let's get it popped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it popped. <laughs> but you, you, you want something, you go get it, man. I want salvation, so I go get it. You know? You go get it. That's how it works. You don't expect something to fall in your lap. You know? You think you're good? You ain't good. If you can't, if you ain't got it, you ain't good. If you ain't got no man, you ain't no good woman. As simple as that. About 30 years old, you ain't got no man, you done. You can't get no man at 30. You can't get you can't keep no solid woman at 30. You know what I'm saying? 
That's crazy, man. Go ahead. It says, <clears throat> if he were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah, they'd love, they'd love us if we was uh, doing that shit over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's his prime example. That's it. You know, that's that's worldly, man. That is not fruitful. But y'all act like y'all trying to pro progress the, the, the human race. All this knowledge that's being spewed out by us, y'all want to stand over there and listen to you want to build a snowman. That's foolery, man. Ain't no snow out here. There ain't no snow out here. It's, it's warm. Hey. You know? Man, scripture say a tail toe out of season. Yeah, tail toe out of season. Ain't no snow out here. Ain't no snow out here. It's very icy. The water's very icy. You go ahead. It says, but because ye are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, they hate you. Yeah, they hate you. 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 You know when, like, you, you, like, man, this nigga don't like me, dude. But you, you my cousin, so I gotta fuck with you. You know? Um, I know cousins that, that don't really, that don't really mess with me, but they some legit people, man. And I know niggas that just act like they fuck with you and don't fuck with you. They envious, man. You know? I know. I, I, the spirit, the, the spirit reveals, you know? The spirit reveals, man. Yeah, you know, I know a motherfucker that's living a life or present themselves as living a life and everybody's like, oh, do your thing, blah, blah, blah. I'm constantly telling everybody I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I don't do half that shit, but you just look at me a certain way. I'm like, why is this motherfucker looking at me like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or why, you know, you're getting that vibration off a person, man. You can't hold a decent conversation with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I should be able to hold a decent conversation with you. About any, I ain't gonna say about anything, but I should, I, I should be able to just sit there and talk to you, man. You know, when when you around a the motherfucker, they like that, they got, they got a problem with you, man. You can't talk about something. You just sit there and you trying to talk, and you just, yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. How, you know, I've been grinding, working. You know, me too. Yeah, you know, how you been? You know, like that's, that's that motherfucker got a problem with you, man. You know, that's crazy, man. Cause you're not of the world, man. We out of we out of this world, man. You know, you got people that that that's not in this truth that respect what we're doing, man. Because they they acknowledge they they're out of this world to, to the point they're not on the same planet, but they can see that we're not on that planet either. You know, so they're like, you know, I'm glad you got off that fucking planet. You know. That's just, that's just how it's like, man. I know, I know a dude, he, he, I don't know what the fuck he's into, but he's like one of them, them fucking hippie ass niggas. And, and he's just like, man, he'll walk up, one of the niggas, you know, popping in the world, but he's like a, a spacey dude. It's so crazy that and, I and he's, and man, I respect what you're doing, man. He'll walk up and talk to me, and he'll acknowledge who I am as a person, but you got people that'll be, you'll act like they're pretty, and, and don't give you no recognition, man. Yeah, I love what you're doing. I respect that. You know, I like that you out here. You know, I be on that same shit. Well, pay your tights then, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want, I don't want money from you, man. But at the same time, we talking like we doing something and you ain't doing what you supposed to do. When you ain't doing, when you, if you ain't out here, you supposed to pay tights to us, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh. Boy, and his dad need to be paying tights. Yeah, yeah, Meshach and, and, and Michael, man, they supposed to be paying tights, man. You ain't out here, you know? Fund, fund us and, and relieve us of our, our, our stressful duties in Omar so we can constantly bring this work out. If the nigga was paying us, you know, not gonna say nigga was paying us, the dead people pay their tights, how they supposed to pay them? We supposed to, to come out here seven days a week, man. We got, we got families, we got jobs, you know? Things like that. That's why we don't mind paying the apostles, man. You know? I'm honored to participate in that, man. To be a part of that when, when the Most High gives out that judgment, man. What, what he said, uh, what he said to Peter, man. He said, you know, feed me. You have fed my little ones, man. When, when do we do this and do that? Are you did it to them? 
when you did it to them. So for, for us to partake in paying our tithes to our apostles, that's a beautiful moment, man. We, you know? We, uh, I say when we pay our tithes and they able to uh, progress the word more, you know what I'm saying? Not even progress the word. They can buy the yon yon with it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Buy yon yon, you, know? you know? We doing that. We we doing that same thing towards, towards uh, Yahweh, why you have a shot, man. Go, go to the movie. You can do what you want. I don't care. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You putting in work. You out here, you didn't you do the spirit of the most high, you brought me this far. You can't go to the movies off my money. You know what I'm saying? You can't chill. You know? That's how that works, man. You go ahead. I don't care. You know? If I if I give you 20 and then in, in, in the store and you turn around and take that 20 and, and buy a bottle of yon yon, so what, man? And that's my money. You supposed to go buy a camera with that right now. Like buy some film. My cash. My cash. Like I'm I'm honored to, to, to be a part of that, man. You know? Like you niggas like to dick ride somebody that became famous. Like I know somebody that's cool with me, that's famous, that I'm cool with and I'm able to do something for. It. Like you see Lil Wayne and he and he needs a, a, a the bum a light off of you. Niggas been talking about that for ages, dude. Lil Wayne asked for a light. Yeah, the light, my lighter, bro. That's how we feel with the, with the apostles, man. We're like, you know, dude, you know, we got to pay ties to the apostles, man. You know? Hey, hey, hey. thank you. You got to pay ties to how it's shot, man. You know? That's that's a that's an ultimate type right there, man. You know, you know, balling out to our, you know, coming back. But that that. Jake, Jake, Jake was acting bad with you. I was shy, man. You know, talking shit. You know. This is uh, verse twenty. It says, "Remember the word that I said unto you: the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you." So, what is that telling us? We must expect niggas to not like the truth, man. And it says the world. It's talking about all you niggas outside the elect, outside of the 144,000 plus the women and children that follow, man. The women, men, and children that follow. Niggas gonna be hating. That's the bulk. We're talking about a remnant of Israel being the elect. And then you got the whole world. You know? Our nation is, is not the size of like all nations. And a remnant of, of them gonna make what you think the whole world gonna look at us like. That's why I'm gonna have them big numbers, okay? If if I was, if this truth was a fighting ability, one of us could whoop like eighty, like a thousand niggas' asses, man. You know, we'll be on Samuel, man. Uh, so like I said, we'll be on Samson, man. 